Right guys, so you're looking at buying an F30. What do I think is the most important things when buying one? Firstly, get one with the M Sport package. If you come to resale, it'll always sell better. So what's included in the M Sport package? Firstly, you get the bumpers. Which, you know, a lot nicer. I've added the, um, the black splitters. But some M Sports come with the Aero kit, which is the lower diffuser. I just, I'm scared of them because they just tend to have problems with curves. You get the M Sport wheels, M Sport suspension, which is different variations of the wheels. They're 18 inch, some are 19 inch. You get the gloss black trim around the windows, around the mirrors. Obviously, rear bumper. Looks a lot better than the standard SE bumper. And you get the M Sport seats. Nice leather. Come round here. You get the M Sport steering wheel. M Sports tend to hold the value a lot better will be easier for resale so that's my main priority when buying a beamer i always go for m sport secondly service history now on these the f30 service history stored on the i drive now mine's a 2013 so it's kind of gone past its day of bmw full service history now i have paperwork and um, data stored on the i drive when you're going to buy the car or look at the car, go on the iDrive system and look for the service history and ask for any uh, relevant paperwork. Um, try and buy a low mileage one if you've got a diesel. Um, there's lots of horror stories about timing chains on the 20 diesel and there are fuels on the few on the uh, 30 diesel and the 335 diesel. Um, generally if a car has uh, plenty of oil changes within the recommended period you should be all right um, i bought this with 50,000 on the clock it had some service history on the i drive and paperwork um, i've gone to an independent garage uh, obviously had the car serviced and it just that just keeps the price down basically bmw you're looking at you know probably 300 plus for a service i paid about 240 all in service so that's my second most important thing when buying the f30 check the service history third most important for me is body work obviously i'm in the detailing game if you're buying the car you're going to be stuck with it for a period of time so check every panel on the car these don't tend to rust, but obviously check all four arches, quarter panels, wings, check for any bubbling that may have been caused by stone chips, check the bottoms of the doors, obviously the door edges, you know, people with rings and handbags. And generally, if it's a darker colour, you'll be able to see better, but check the panels, check that there's no like etching from where it's on poor body work check the large car park dents and just generally give the car a once over cars of this age it's going to be rare that they've not had any body work we will have had some but we're just hoping that it's been done properly into a standard and obviously you know check the bonnet check there's not too many stone chips if it's a motorway car high mileage it will have a few but just check see if they've been touched up that they're not rusting and generally just go over the car check the condition check that it's what you want to be stuck with so you just forked out all that money or took a loan or took finance my fourth most important is check the tires check they've got a bit of life left in them this is running conti run flats which is if you're a previous bmw owner you know are quite expensive so check the tires got a bit of life left in them basically means you're not going to have to roll out the garage and then roll back into a garage to fork out well all four you're probably knocking on close to eight nine hundred quid 
if you want brand new. Also, check the discs and pads. Check that the discs aren't heavily worn. And the pads have got a bit of life left in them. Again, not the cheapest thing to buy, especially if you're going for BMW, which I advise because OEM ones don't squeak and squeal. So that's my fourth most important. That could just end up saving you a lot of money. Fifth most important, when you rock up to the garage or to the guy or the lady, you're buying it off, start the car, check that it hasn't been warmed up prior to you turning up, check that it's nice and cold, and then on starting, whether it's a diesel or a petrol, because obviously these are chain driven, just check to see if there's any rattles. When it warms up, comes up to temperature, and there's no scary noises. Likewise, take it for a drive, check that it brakes straight, <laughs> and check that it steers straight. Just little tips, that's what I always do. 